few days ago, uh, a friend of mine actually shot me a message on Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and uh, he was the first to let me know um, of the passing of Road Warrior Animal, and uh, I just wanted to get on here, uh, not take up a whole lot of your time, but I just wanted to talk about Animal for a moment and uh, the Road Warriors in general. You know, Road Warrior Animal, what a, a, a beast of a man this was. And uh, just just a huge <laughs> individual, powerhouse, you know. Um, the Road Warriors were one of those teams that just, there will never be another team like them ever. There have been a few that have tried to to imitate them somewhat, uh, kind of take bits and pieces of, of the look that they had, uh, but nobody has ever or will ever do it as good as the Road Warriors. They had, they had that look with the shoulder pads and, and the spikes and, and the face paint, uh, some of the greatest face paint that we've ever, ever seen. Joe's, he, he was just fantastic at, at doing the face paint for both he and Hawk. Um, he would often, and uh, probably the majority of the time with the um, his own face paint with the, the spider, uh, just probably the coolest, uh, some of the coolest face paint that I've ever seen. The great Muda, he had some really cool face paint as well, Sting, but um, Ultimate Warrior had some cool face paint jobs. But uh, animals, by far, always my favorite, you know, just such a cool look. And um, both of these guys, you know, we lost Hawk uh, at the age of 47, uh, Michael Hegstrand. And uh, that, that was just a really sad day for myself and for a lot of fans. Uh, just such a part I know of my childhood and, and a lot of our childhoods, you know, none of us, none of us are getting any younger. And, uh, he died at 47. Now, now Joe dying at, uh, the age of 60, you know, um, really hit home, man. It, it really, uh, just both of them gone, you know, and, uh, Great thing is that we're left with all those memories, you know. We can go back and we can watch old matches and relive some of those great Road Warrior moments. And uh, they left us with a lot of a lot of footage to go back and watch and remember what they did in the world of professional wrestling. Because uh, quite frankly, they did it all. They did it all. They were one of those teams that, uh, as individuals, they stuck up for themselves. Uh, just uh, helped a lot of people along and I, I saw a uh, interview recently with Booker T where he was talking about Joe where he was talking about Animal and he said that uh, the thing that stuck out to him outside of the matches outside of the power, the strength uh, the look was how Joe uh, was so willing to help out the younger talent you know, and that's something that the world in general is really missing today. Uh, you got a lot of guys with so much knowledge, a lot of people that have knowledge, and they just don't want to take the time to uh, to teach somebody younger and, and lead them in the right direction and, and, and pass that knowledge. You know, we, we don't have that today. Um, just, it's really important. You know, just to be willing to take what you know, what you learned, uh, the knowledge that you have, and, and try to find somebody that's willing to listen. And if they're willing to listen, then they can learn. And um, we should always have that desire as men, especially, to take take these younger kids and teach them something, you know. Whether it be working on a car, whether it be, you know, how to throw a football. I mean, it, could, it can be simple things. You know, but how, when was the last time you saw, you know, a grown man tossing a football to, to a young, younger group of kids? You, you don't, you don't see that kind of thing as often anymore. And it's sad. These kids are hooked on these video games and things like that. But, 
you got an opportunity as a man to pass knowledge along, you know, whether it's your kid or not, there's somebody out there that could use some of the knowledge that you have. So that was a great quality that uh, Joe had. And, uh, you know, there, there's never going to be another tag team like the Road Warriors ever. Big, strong, powerful. They learned how to work together as a team. And these guys were not just a team. These guys were buds. These guys were, they grew up together. They were brothers. And uh, Hawk and Animal, you know, I love both of you guys. And I know where you're at today. I know that both of you believed in God above, and uh, God's got a plan, you know, and, and a reason for doing the things that he allows to happen. And um, just, uh, you both, both of you are sorely missed, and um, just any comments, any remarks, anything that you'd like to say about Hawk and Animal, just put it down below. Uh, Joe, you're going to be sorely sorely missed and it's uh it's just uh it's a tough one to take uh lod you know there'd never be another team like them and uh my hat's off to both of those guys for for the career that they had the personas that they portrayed on 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 you know on tv on the screen and uh just it, it's sad it really is and um it's hard to think that they're both gone, and uh, it was just a sad, just a sad thing to hear that Joe had passed. And uh, you know, I wish the best for his friends, his family, all of those that are mourning. We're all mourning the loss, and um, you know, we all know where he is today. He's back with Hawk, and um, you know. Let's just uh, keep the family in our thoughts and prayers, and uh, you guys take it easy.